Hey guys, hey, I'm playing. Sorry if you heard noise there. But this is a very big video as you read from the title. This is my set July to August. I'm gonna get myself in the shot. This is my July to August collection. Yeah, I know, technically I've been paid. Uh, this is all the stuff I've earned from two months of working. Practically two months. I've started on the 16th of July and we're roughly heading into September. And this is every film that I've bought since the beginning of my journey to roughly capping out the month. I'll be doing a September or uh, October a Christmas special one because there's going to be a lot on. If I don't pass my driving lessons, I'm probably going to be buying quite. I'm going to be asking for quite a lot of films. Um, I will be buying a couple of new boxes cause when I move out, which I don't know when I'm going to, but I'm probably going to move out. I am going to want my second storage packed already. But yeah, I've only bragged on for a minute. This is my July to August. Uh, everything has been bought. Some of it is June though. I did get some of it for June. But there's a couple of picks in here that I did start getting my my birthday money and spent on. But yeah, some of it you probably might. It's definitely after the first, the blue videos you've seen. Some of it might have been in the Blu-ray release videos. But this is everything I've unboxed. Let's start off with a film that I haven't shown in this channel and just got. I don't really feel like I wanted to unbox this. It's 2001 A Space Odyssey. I got ordered it with the base cover. But I got the slip with it, which I'm very grateful for. I will be going in detail. It's probably going to be like a 16, 17 minute video. So yeah. We got 2010, the year we made it. I did buy every film with the 2000s. And I bought 2012, which will be in my next collection video. Everything that I comes from now will be in my next collection. I just want to do it now. So I don't have to bloody, you know, start pulling off 50, 60 new films. Even though it is a lot, and I will be counting them at the end. We got 2010 the year made it premium collection. I wanted to collect every Blu-ray and I saw this one. This one was a lot different. I was like, yeah, might as well start collecting it. You get art cards, we have a poster. Very good. I still have not seen that film. I did unbox it to the channel. Alright, let's continue. We got off a base Blu-rays now for a while. We got Amusement. Now this I've never seen it. Alright, I'm gonna rush through. I saw it for two pounds in Poundland, obviously Poundland do Blu-rays. And I just looked, I like clown horror films, I like cheesy clown horror films. So I had to pick up that. Maybe a hint for something I really do want to get. We've got Assassin's Creed, and as you can see I switched it for a, a later Blu-ray case. Because I hate this fucking film, but it had such a nice border and I wanted to brighten up my spine collection. So yeah, I got that. I've heard it shit though, so I will probably be watching it just to see how shit it is. And then we've got the Basket Case Trilogy. Now, this has the first, second, and third one in. And it, yes, if you... And it, yes, this is the film that the thing jumps out of the basket and grabs the guy's head and spins it around and goes up like this and just does... Yeah. It, it's stupid B-movie comedy horror. B-movie comedy horror. I'm sorry, I'm moving my camera a little bit. It's The first one was alright. Now we're going with more... I got these to complete the franchise. Batman and Robin. Shit, it's fucking goddamn awful. This was another one. This one's Batman Hush. I reviewed it on this channel with an in-depth review, so I will not be reviewing it in this collection video. Buried. Two pounds. Pound round again. Pound round have really got good recently with their films. I found some... There's some later ones that come out. But we got... Sorry if you hear anything. That's my mum. Carnival of Souls, the Criterion Collection... Now this Blu-ray I got for collect items I didn't really I did an in-depth review so I will not be reviewing it here. Clown I like like I said I like horror movies. There's another clown horror movie that I wanted for a, a year or two, but this one's another one that I've heard is alright. It's pretty decent, so I decided I'd buy it and give it a try. Another one to complete my franchise, but I actually do enjoy this one. This is B the Dark Knight Rises with a nice collectible slipcover. Alright, then we got this zombie film called Dead Snow. I will be getting the sequel. Maybe next pay check, I'm not sure. But this is Dead Snow. Very good film. I like it. I like the ending where he fought... Oh no, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not an asshole. I'm just not going to spoil films. But that will be an in-depth review later on in my life. But we got The Descent. Definitely in-depth review. I'm going to do it every two days. 
This is The Descent. Really good film. I've never watched it personally, but it's a really good film. I've... No, I've seen it. I've seen it on Netflix. I was like, that's a very good film. And then it was 2.15 on Zavi with Dead Snow. So I was like, yeah, might as well. Then we got the uh, Doctor Who, The Macro Terror. It's a six-parter, I believe, or four-parter. It doesn't tell me. You get a bonus mini episode with it. And it's fully animated, it looks like, just from them. Yeah, I do have the classic cover as well on that. I just thought I might up the ante, you know. I did manage to keep the sip cover. Alright, we're going to start another pile. We start the pile off with Doctor Who Sharda. This is originally the Assassin's Creed case. I just switched it over because this film's better. Um, unboxing on this channel. Oh, we're getting into some of the collector's items. we got the Expendables. This is from Poundland. This was a very good find. I was very surprised to find this. It's such a really good film, I've heard. That's the man just beating the shit out of people, so... Know. I'm going to pick these two up and show you them separately. We've got Fast and Furious 8. I wanted to get this still book because it looked cool and I needed to complete my Fast and Furious collection. Flatliners. I, I prefer this to the remake. So I heard this one was really good by my mum. And I got I got it for me and her. Bless her surprise. I got two things for mum. Let's get on with the next one. We've got Friday the 13th remake. I would not have got this if it wasn't, this was on deal. This was on deal for about £4 from £8. I'm not, I'm not going to miss it. It's like £7.99 in the actual uh, Amazon. So it's the cheapest I'm ever going to find it probably in the UK. I picked it up for, for September the 13th, which there will be two reviews. The classic and that one. We've got Boris Karloff, The Ghoul. This film I've heard is good by my dad. Uh, you get a viewing notes book and you get some original poster art on the inside of the case. Um, so that sounds pretty interesting. Then we get Groundhog Day. Now, I, this is a fan-made still book and I really do think it looks beautiful. They've done it. They've outdone themselves with that still book. I don't know if you can see that, but it shines up the stars. So if you hear mum moaning. Uh, and then, obviously, you saw my unboxing of this. I got Hellraiser 1. Hellraiser Hellbound and Hellraiser Hell on Earth. Uh, all of them are Arrow released. Hereditary. Very good film. I personally didn't like the ending. I liked all the other part of the film, but I just didn't like the fucking ending. Oh, shit, the Blu-rays have fallen on my lap. The Blu-rays have fallen on my lap. The Blu-rays have fallen... I'm sorry about this, guys. Let's shove them there. Fuck it. Okay. We got The Hobbit. So if you hear noises in the background, but any background noise for this is not my fault. The Hobbit 1 and The Hobbit 3. Got these to collect the whole series. I probably will not be watching them due to the run time. The, yeah, it's just like three, four hours of film. You know, and we're in on the mood. Let me get the next bundle. Hulk. Now, Hulk is this film where it's my kids. It, it's what I watched as a kid and I really did enjoy that film. This is another one I watched as a kid, Iron Giant, the Warner Brothers collector's item. Yeah, I did go with a couple of these. But the Iron Giant and like the 2001, obviously, that happened before. Uh, John Wick, Chapters 1 and 2. Corey said these were good. I saw the second one. I was like, that, damn, that shit good, man. And I was like, yeah, I might as well pick it up. It was quite cheap as well. It's like £10 for both of them. Kick ass. Now, this film is meant to be fuck bad. So I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we got another rare dish. We got two rare editions coming up. Kill Bill Volume Two. I still haven't found Kill Bill Volume One, but I'm always keeping an eye out on Poundland, hoping Kill Bill Volume One will pop up. Uh, but this is Kill Bill Volume Two for two pound. And also Kick Ass was two pound, so that was a massive find. This is King Kong Premium Collection. I. I saw the remake, it's three hours long, this is the smaller version of that, and I'm going to be watching it soon. Lights Out. Now, this was, this is actually surprisingly a really good horror film. I thought it looked cheesy, I thought they couldn't bring up a short story into a full-fledged film, but they did it, and it was really good. Then we got Lufa Series 1, limited to 2000, a Zavi exclusive steelbook. Now, this is Lufa Series 1. There's sadly only like four or five episodes on there. Um, 
but like at the same time it's not bad season i personally will not be watching any more of it though let's drop and get the next load oh oh i got such a good load now you know what let's just get the rest of the let's just get the rest of them who the fuck cares pop them there pop them there we'll review them all night in the museum we've got all three uh, you might have saw this unboxing but we got one two and three secret of the tomb and the secret of the tombs code this film i did do an in-depth review and an unboxing on and this was pet cemetery very good film i rated it an 8.5 out of 10 i will not be spoiling it but that review has got spoilers in so yeah most of the films in here have unboxed we got predator free film collection all in separate discs so we've got predator one predator two and Pred predators very good film the original i've never seen any of the others starts off thinking it's like an action film and it goes into the murder horror film we've got simpsons movie i grew up with this film like me and my friends would talk about this all the time in year like two or one it was such a funny whenever it came out it was like the biggest thing in our uh, school I told you the movie's coming on, but we've only got six titles. We've got Stitches here. Now, this one, I really did want. I saw the tra I saw the trailer, and I thought it generally looked good, to the point I'll buy it. It's a bit of a jokey horror. Then this one's another jokey horror B-list thing. I have done the review, and I have unboxed it. Street Trash. It has an alternate cover, so if you think... That looks a lot different to the one that you have unboxed. Well... There it is, boys. There's the original. But I prefer this one with the Venom, the Viper. And, yeah, it just generally looks a lot cooler. The back has a load of legs on it. And it just looks practically awesome to the point in which I use that cover. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, seriously. It's basically the, the stuff with hobos, like another reviewer said. Then we get an Australian released Blu-ray. Only reason is because it's not released in the UK. And it's The Taking of Deborah Logan. Their Blu-rays look so sick. I would... Uh, because, well, there's nothing else I could do. We got the we got the Wolverine. This film is shit. No, 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 actually, wait. This one's alright. I believe... Yeah, I like this film. It's where he upgrades his skeletal. I think it's a better... It's a be, It's an origin story, but it's a better origin story than the fucking, you know. I would have taken that code out, alright. And we got the 3D, we got the Blu-ray, and we got the Unleashed Extended Cut. Alright, let's get to the next one. We got A Vault of Horrors. Starred Tom Baker. And it's got one, two, three, four, five stories in there, or mini stories, and it was a very good looking Blu-ray. We've got a Walking Dead Zavi exclusive steelbook, season two and season three. Now these are very good films, with TV series. Let's get, add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-five. By the way, I classify normal Blu-rays if they have a multiple pack. Um, if they have multiple ones, I would classify them as a separate Blu-ray. Put six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Oh, my math's gone fucked. All right, I'm gonna have to re-add them. Sorry, guys, about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 50, 51, 52, 53 films, 53 films through this month. Hope you guys did enjoy it, please do smash the like button, I will see you guys in the next one, bye bye.